Hey guys, today I'm filming my spring makeup must-haves for 2019. I'm going to be sharing with you all of my favorite spring products for eyes, cheeks, lips, and nails. I will be mentioning some things that were limited edition or discontinued, and that's not to rub it in your face. It is to remind you to pull them out of your collection if you have them, and also I'm just showing you the products that I will be using this season. I will have all the products listed and linked in the description box because this is a very product-heavy video. Video. and I'm very stereotypical. I absolutely love pastels in the springtime, so it's mostly what I have here today. So we will just get started with the eye products. So I do have a custom-made Z palette with some single shadows that I absolutely love for this time of year. The first row is MAC, then we have Makeup Geek, one Luxie Beauty shadow, this is Makeup Geek, and then these are ColourPop. So I have MAC Stars and Rockets, Shimmer Moss, Expensive Pink, and Free to Be. From Luxie, I have Purple Haze. Then from Makeup Geek, I have Pillow Talk, Black Light, Carnival, and Wisteria. And this is Makeup Geek Sure Thing. And then for the three ColourPop shadows, we have Secrets, Softcore, and Labyrinth. For some pre-made palettes, one that I will be using this year is the ColourPop My Little Pony palette. I did rearrange this, so the colors just made a little bit more sense and the layout was more to my liking. This was a limited edition palette, but it was around for a really long time, so hopefully you guys were able to pick it up. And I'm definitely interested in the lighter shades, this row, this row, and then these lighter blues I think will be really fun to try out. I also plan on picking up some time, but I think it looks really beautiful. The brand new ColourPop palette with their spring collection, that looks really fun as well. And speaking of ColourPop, of course, I've got some Super Shock shadows in here. Some of these might not be available, but some of them are. The first one is called Daddy. This is a beautiful bright purple matte shade. This is a pressed pigment finish because it can stain a little bit. I love this one on the lid. And then I'll use some of those matte purples from Makeup Geek for transition crease colors with it, and I think it looks absolutely stunning. I also have this beautiful shimmery turquoise called Flower Shop, which is a pearlized finish. Then I have two colors that are super similar. You definitely don't need them both. This is a matte called Belladonna Lily, which I believe was limited edition. And then I have another one called Snapdragon, which is also a matte shadow. And basically Belladonna Lily is a little lighter and more blue, but you can see they're super similar. I also love wearing both of these on the lid. The matte finishes are not the easiest to work with for transition and crease and whatnot but on the lid, I think that they look really beautiful. Then we've got some more fun, unique eyeshadows here. This is one of the ColourPop Jelly Mutt shadows. I haven't tried this one yet. In the color Sweet Dreams, which is like a duochrome pink with a blue flash. So here's what that looks like. The texture looks kind of gross to me. I'm gonna to have to figure out how to apply this to my eye, but I'm excited to test out that formula. Stila also has several duochrome glitter enclosed. I do have one of them in the shade Sea Siren, which I think will look stunning on the lid. This is also more of that pink to blue duochrome shift. Then I do have one of the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pots in the color Frosé, which is really similar to NARS Orgasm. And lastly for eyes, I have a couple colorful eyeliners that I'm in love with. And you guys know that I absolutely love these two from ColourPop. I actually used them up last year and repurchased them. These are their cream gel liners and the Periwinkle, which is Prance, and the Mint, which is Zulu. Holy Grail, highly recommend them. And they have several other shades. They have some more pastels, some neons, and then some more natural colors. And then I also have this Stila Smudge Stick waterproof pencil in the shade turquoise and this one looks like a little bit more minty and this is a little bit deeper and more intense or bright of a color so I absolutely love that one as well and I think the formulas are actually very similar the color pop ones do break kind of easily so those are better for the waterline or lower lash line not so much for the upper lash line but this is a great one too so those are all of the eye products I plan on using this spring 
Moving on to chic products. Because I have so many bronzers, contours, and highlighters in my collection, I like to designate specific ones for each season to make sure I'm getting good use out of all of them. For my spring bronzer, I love the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the bronzer shade, so it's the second lightest one in the range. This is great because it isn't too warm or too cool, and it just looks so beautiful on the skin. To contour, I am using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I also think this has a great neutral tone. For some people, this can be a little bit more cool, others more warm, but for me, it is that more neutral tone, so I think it works really well. For highlighters, I have more of like a natural highlight and then a colorful highlight. So the more natural one would be the Pixie Glowy Powder in the shade London Luster, which is a beautiful light champagne shade. And then for my more fun highlight, this is the NYX Duochromatic Highlighter in the shade Snow Rose, which is like a golden pink shift to it. It is very pretty. So then for blushes, I have quite a few and I have a few pink blushes, like very minimal, like a light warm tone pink and light cool tone pink. And then I just have like a million peach blushes because those are my favorite. So the warm pink blush I have would be the Balm Insane Blush in Argyle. I'm wearing this on my cheeks today. This formula is incredible. And then the cool tone pink blush I have is also from the Balm. This is the shade Down Boy. It's definitely more of that white base pastel blush, but it does show up really nicely and not too chalky looking on the cheek. So these are the only pink blushes I really need in my life. So you can see then compared to each other that this is more warm and this is more cool and this one's a little bit brighter. This one's a little bit more pastel. So the rest of these are peach blushes. Some of these are more of like a warm pink. And this one is new to me, but I definitely wanna wear it this spring. This is the ColourPop and Zoella blush in the shade Soulmate, which is more of that warm pink color. I do have this limited edition Too Faced Love Flush blush in the shade Fun Fetty. I will be using the It Cosmetics CC Radiance Ombre blush in the shade Je Ne Sais Quoi. I have the Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Flower Child. I have the Balm Frat Boy, which is more of a pastel peachy shade, but this has been one of my favorite blushes forever. This is the Ciate Glowy Blush in the shade Summer Love. One of my oldest blushes would be Benefit Coralista. I have the Clinique Cheek Pop in Peach Pop. There are so many shades that would be great for the springtime, but this is the one that I have in love. The last blush I have is the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Captivating. This is a peach blush that I think could really work well in several seasons because this isn't too pastel. It is a little bit more muted though, and it's really beautiful. Moving on to lip products, I have some more pastel pink nudes. I have blue tone pinks and I have some peachy pinks. I've got liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, jumbo lip pencils, and glosses. I've got everything swatched here for your convenience. So we will jump right in. I'm going to show you all the products and then I'll show you the swatches. So I have three of the Joy liquid lip creams. And when I was watching these, I feel like they're getting a little bit dried out. So I'm definitely going to need to use them a lot this year. And these are my more nude pinks out of the bunch. So I've got Dolce de Leche, which is more pink. Melon, which is more peach, and then lychee, which is a bit more rose. That is the deepest one of the three. They're all really similar. Melon would definitely be my favorite because it is the more peachy one. Then I do have this Anastasia liquid lipstick in Crush, which is a really nice light pinky nude, but it is more of that dusty warm pink. It looks so beautiful on the lips. Then for a more blue tone pink, I do have the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Rosebud. This is very light, but I think it works well with my skin tone and I do love this formula. I have one of my all time favorite lipsticks. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous in the shade Primrose. It's a great cream finish, very comfortable, and it is a wearable blue tone pink. It is also more on like the medium opacity. 
Then I do have a ColourPop Lippy Sticks and the shade Westy. This is a matte finish. This is more of a dusty blue tone pink. One of my favorite shades. It is very wearable. Then I do have one more warm pink. A lot of my warm pinks you're going to see in my summer makeup must-haves, but this one is a little bit lighter, which is why I think it's good for spring. And this is a really nice warm pink that I can pair with more of my peachy blushes. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Criminal, which is a comfort matte finish. Then I've got some more glossy options. I have the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Meringue, a beautiful bright blue tone pink. This is a super comfortable gloss formula because it isn't sticky. I also have the MAC Patent Polish Lip Pencil in the shade Patent Pink, which is a beautiful bright blue tone pink. This also has more of a medium opacity and a really glossy finish. This is something that's super easy and comfortable to wear. And the last blue tone pink item I have is the Anastasia Lip Gloss in the shade Dusty Lilac. This does have a full coverage opacity with a beautiful glossy finish, and it is a really pretty purple tone pink. And then we have my more peachy lip options. This is Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Dolce. This does have a little bit of pink to it. This is on the pastel side as well. Then I have my favorite peach lippy stick from ColourPop. This is in the shade Hype Girl. It was limited edition, and this is a matte finish. Then I have three glosses. So one is a little bit more of a pale peach. One has more coral, and one has more pink to it. So you definitely don't need all three, but in the swatches, hopefully you'll be able to see the differences like I can. So the first one is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss in the shade Pure Peach. Then I have the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in the shade Creamsicle. And lastly is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Maple Blondie, which is so amazing. And those are all of my lip products that I am going to be recommending and wearing this spring. So here are swatches of all the lip products. We have Jouer Dolce de Leche, Melon and Lychee, Anastasia Crush, Dose of Colors Rosebud, Revlon Primrose, ColourPop Westy Urban Decay Criminal, NYX Meringue, MAC Patton Pink, Anastasia Dusty Lilac, Anastasia Dolce, Color Pop Hype Girl, and then here are the three glosses. So hopefully you can see the differences there. So this is Too Faced, Buxom, and NYX. So the last category we have would be nail polish, and I have four basic color categories. I have mint, blue, purples, and peaches, and then I do have a couple of random polishes, and I actually have more polishes than I will be able to wear this season, but I will try my best to wear as many as I can. So I'm not gonna really go into detail describing each of these shades. I'm just gonna tell you which color category they're from. So start with the mint and green polishes. I have Pretty Serious Peace on Earth, which has more of an opalescent finish. This is Bliss Polish Sweet Sentiment. This one is more green. It is from 90 Lacquer called Budding from her spring collection of 2018. Essie Blossom Dandy. ColourPop Dust a Dream. And Formula X Legendary. Then we have my purple polishes. What I'm wearing on my nails today is like a purpley pink. This is KO Polish Libra. Moonshine Manny, no more of that dull stuff. Nine Zero Lacquer June 2016. Color Pop First Wings First. Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Lacy Lilac, which might be my most used nail polish. And OPI You're Such a Budapest, which is a purple periwinkle in some lights. This can look more blue and others more purple. Then we have all of my blue polishes. This first one is KL Polish St. Clair, which is very similar to Essie Bikini Sotini, except it's a full cream polish and has a much better formula. This is 90 Lacquer Robin's Egg. 90 Lacquer Let It Rain. Color Pop Pixelated. Essie Where's My Chauffeur. 
OPI, I believe in manicures. Wet n Wild Wild Shine and Chambray Showers. So my last four polishes are a little bit random. So I have a couple peaches, a yellow, and more of like a pinky rose gold color. So my two peaches would be Formula X Alive and Wet n Wild Wild Shine in Ferris Wheel Romance. These are pretty similar and unfortunately both of these are not available any longer. This was limited edition and this was discontinued. I have one yellow, which is KL Polish Gemini, and then the one rose gold, it's kind of hard to see it in the bottle. This is from Nizer Lacquer in the color Cotton Tail, so you can get a more accurate picture of the rosy tone up here by the neck. It's just showing more gold in the bottle, but that's what it looks like on the nails. It is so stunning. So guys, those are all of my spring makeup must-haves for 2019. I would love to know your thoughts on all of these products, and I would love to know which makeup and nail polish products do you plan on wearing this season? Do you guys tend to go with pastels, or do you go with another kind of color family? I would love to know down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.